Hi friends, I posted a video in the past about using MaxiGro nutrients in Aero Garden. In that video, I have shown the growth of bok choy side by side using MaxiGro nutrients and Aero Garden nutrients and how they both worked. This video is an update with more details and the results. I am also covering if there are any issues using MaxiGro in Aero Garden. As I am going through this process, I am also showing how I clean the garden very deeply. I have been using MaxiGrow for more than one year for all my herbs and leafy green vegetables. I have grown many varieties using MaxiGrow. Here is a small list to show you how exactly the MaxiGrow nutrients are working in Aero Garden. First one is Bok Choy. I had this garden for about 45 days. I got wonderful results with MaxiGrow. Next up is dandelions. I had these dandelions in Aero Garden for two and a half months. I got excellent results. I found that these dandelions grow well in my backyard even in winter. So I moved all these plants to soil in my backyard. Otherwise I could have continued growing in Aero Garden. Next up is Culantro. This has been going for two and a half months. I am getting excellent results. Next up is Malabar Spinach. This also has been growing for two and a half months and I am getting excellent results. Not only in Aero Garden, I am also using the MaxiGrow nutrients in my IDU hydroponic systems. I have this basil growing in this IDU for two months and I have been feeding these plants all the time with only MaxiGrow nutrients. Next up is cilantro. This is my most recent crop and the longest one I have grown in Aero Garden using just MaxiGrow nutrients. This cilantro garden lasted for more than 4 months. I never changed the water or cleaned this bowl since the beginning. I always clean the bowl once in every 45 to 60 days if I think the garden goes for a couple of months. I never expected that the cilantro will survive for more than 2 months. That's the reason I never thought of cleaning the bowl or changing the water. Now that I am done with this garden after 4 months, I am going to deep clean this garden. This time, I am going to pay an extra attention to check if MaxiGrow created any issues like clogging or residue buildup, especially in or around the pump. While pump is the main focus, I am also checking all parts of the garden for clogging or residue buildup. Here I go. First I am removing the plants. Roots look ok. They are brown but looking healthy. Next grow deck. Top looks pretty messy but it's pretty common on a garden that lasted for 4 months and continuously produced. Next up is the bowl. I see lot of brown stuff in the bottom. This looks like nutrition buildup but I also see some small broken roots. This is pretty common and I see this kind of stuff all the time while using Aero Garden nutrients as well. This is the reason we must change the water frequently. Before I dump this water and open the pump, I want to test the water flow using the same water with all the residue in place. I will come back to this test in a second. First I want to check the grow deck. I am opening it now. I am not seeing any residue here. Both the upper and lower plates of the grow deck are looking fine. It has some stains but this is almost a 2 year old system so these stains are common. Now it's time to test the pump. I am installing the lower plate of the grow deck so that we can see the water flow. Connecting the pump to the base. Pump started and water flowing very well. I am just placing my fingers to simulate the upper part of the grow deck. Water is flowing very well to all the holes. I see some small particles are flowing through this water. This must be the residue I saw in the water. Anyways, this confirms that there are no clogging issues in the pump or anywhere in the water flow system while using MaxiGrow nutrients. Stopping the test and disconnecting from the base. 
Now I will detach all the pots in this bowl and clean them. Removing the water pump and the water sensor. Now I am detaching the pump. Opening the pump cover. This looks pretty clean. No residue or nutrition buildup anywhere here. Going deep, I still don't see any residue or nutrition buildup anywhere here. So I don't see any issues using maxi grow nutrients in Aero Garden. I will clean everything, put them back and run the pump test again with fresh water. I am scrubbing all pots using a toothbrush. If anything is sticky, I will use a little bit of dishwashing soap. Cleaning is completed now. I am assembling the pump. Attaching the pump into the bowl. Installing the water pipe and the water sensor. I added some water. Now I am connecting the pump to the Aero Garden base. Water is being pumped very well. Placing the lower plate of the grow deck. Water is flowing to all the holes very nice. This confirms that I have no issues using maxi grow nutrients in Aero Garden. Anyways, you saw what I saw. Results are mine and the decision is yours. I am going to continue using maxi grow for all my herbs and leafy green vegetables. Maxi grow is very economical, easy to use, and works very similar to Aero Garden nutrients in terms of plant growth and the yield. Finally, I want to conclude this video with two important recommendations that I strictly follow while using maxi grow nutrients. Recommendation number one Dissolve the dry nutrients thoroughly. Take the dry nutrients to a small bottle, add some water, and shake it well until all the solids are completely dissolved. Once all the solids are dissolved, then add them to Aero Garden. Recommendation number 2. Change the water with every other feeding. If not, at least once in every 2 months. If you are curious about how much maxi grow nutrition I add, I use 1 teaspoon of nutrients with every feeding for Aero Garden Harvest model. That is all for now. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening.